So he open raises. I'm happy about that. At three bet, I'm happy about that. Now he just jams and he plays 59 4.8. So I still hope in the good of the people that they just try to be tricky with their aces and I'm not falling here to be the biggest net in the world and put him on ace king a lot. Um, and yeah, good luck me. Nines, wow. So this is, this is important <laughs> to not go crazy just because of a low sample uh, stats there. What the f I mean, oh, what the fuck, guys? Another hand here. What, what's happening here is insane. Get, get their own feeling for that. Try to find certain spots, and then you can make like kind of golden rules for that. Uh, that can help you. And then you have an idea, right? If you know, I really did it, like on, on paper, pen and paper, and pretty much make a freaking Strichliste. And, um, and have like, this spot, that spot, and I have like, okay, I have 23 of those facing river race and have seen the showdown in my data uh, database. So, uh, and two out of them were bluffs. Then I'm like so confident. It's all about gaining that confidence. I'm so confident in folding next time. Actually, I'm super confident at laughing at that guy and folding. All right, uh, that board, I'm going to see that on the larger side here. Um, You just have to it's fine. For that pot. Need the maximum of protection. And well, now his queen of hearts got there, obviously. Uh, his something queen of hearts, uh, but it's still a value jam here. Super close, but nothing you can do, right? Cannot check fold my jacks now. And I like to see that tank. Maybe I fold out his jacks with a heart. <laughs> You should raise that on the flop. And most flush draws jam in it on the on the flop as well, so. Fold is a great result. Alright, Masher Dog, let's dance! Uh, uh, yeah. Hello if you're watching. Like you. Oh, don't like that board too much. Eh. We need that whip king seven deuce rainbow there. Um, I think I can raise here, or I call, give his king queen of spades another chance to hit. Um, yeah, probably jam most turns if he bets there. Let's so deny some equity. Oh, king queen of spades. Talking about king queen of spades, right? Now. Channeling the energy. And without a diamond, I'm jamming here. Uh, okay, let's 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 take it. If he's ahead of me, if he sucks out, it's fine. If he's ahead of me here, if we have kings or a miracle thing that connects to this four, five, six, we're cutting the stream right away here. Okay, let's go. So channel some energy. Still the danger of getting slow rolled here, so we are not okay. Now we got it. Um, here, a uh, three bet pot, calling a small flop bet, turning a 12 outer. Uh, that's hit, right? Eh. I mean, if he checks, you know. But, oh, he's. Uh, oh, this is tricky. Having the Lebanon flag, who are known for being the most call happy people in the world. But being actually from Poland, someone's thought something, right? It's lots of players from Lebanon just have to love to have their flag. I love their flag with that tree in it. So what is Tzeda? I guess it's Tzeda, whatever that is in English. Um, really love it. So we're going with our King Queen of Spades here. It's really not too many bluffs we're having as soon as that seven gets there, uh, the seven of clubs. I 
And re I mean, if he has like some offsuit ace king, I can see it, the point of not getting away from it, or like an ace queen. But against the whole zoom pool here, he does not find enough bluffs. Like, no way. Everyone has all the flushes, which is, I mean, ace of clubs and ten of clubs is out there, so that blocks quite some. But um, all the two pairs, well, not too many. They jam turn, but whatever. But what are my bluffs? King queen of spades, queen jack of spades, king jack of spades. Yeah, got them. All right. I make it a little smaller here. Uh, usually I have way bigger sizing in that spot, but that poker golf. 63 guys really really call happy so I want to give him a chance to just stay in the pot even if the other guy falls uh, Good luck. Oh Okay Maybe cash out 200 now we are believing let's go Oh, so close. So close. All right, so let's really go crazy, okay? So I'll cut the music here, and it's the last eight minutes now, and we try to focus on everything, okay? So uh, we are eyes like this will be be ready, right? Might might uh, might cause some some headache. Uh, we are isolating our king jack here. I'll check that board up here. I. Double barrels so far on that board. This guy has 60 bucks left and all nine tens in the world. So the River King, I'm definitely value jamming here. Getting called by five nine off, all right, I take oh, it. I open raised here, King five suited on the hijack against the small wine range that hits the small wine range pretty, pretty well, unfortunately. So I'm going to check back. I have some backdoor equity. I don't want to get check raised off, something like that. And not see that turn. And here our queen jack got called. Um, this is a board that I check quite often actually. Um, betting is fine too, but that fits well in a checking range. Does not need to protect too much having that overcard here. And now our flush draw. Um, this is a weird sizing by him. Looks kind of merged. Like why? If he has queen jack, he makes it bigger. Pretty sure. I actually want to race here. Can have lots of jack nine, jack ten, um, but I think I have some fold equity. Uh, the queen jack, we start off with check calling. Turning jack, I stay in call down mode, king queen suited, some folds, not showing everything. This is more interesting now. Um, very, very small sizing. I think about check raising actually, but he leaves 50 behind, then we have 280. That's more like some, it's like a small exploit now, uh, just from my experience that it feels so much like the pocket eights that want to get that other bet in and buy a free showdown, which I'm not allowing now. Um, tough to really find the bluffs I'm having there, but it looks really suspicious, like a reaction to the small sizing. If he uses that sizing with all hands, you know, it's still fine to check raise trips. So the downside of it is not really big, but um, yeah, he can have sixes and fives and just wants all my hands to be, and then he stacks me anyways, right? Um, but yeah, now I'm definitely jamming. It looks pretty weird. And if it is set up, it is one ace jack, right? That's okay. But he's just blocking everything. Uh, that's so small, but that's something, you know, the, the kind of read, Let's call it read, not really. Um, or like an impression I have that people really plan ahead when they have value hands. And he pretty much bet super small to then have 130% left on the on the river, which is totally fine, you know, like good players do it like that uh, because their turn sizing accomplishes something that other parts of their range benefit from. Um, but Bad players only do that with the hands that benefit from it. Like something like pocket eights, right? that gave me that feeling. And then they snap check back the river and it's like they kind of out, not outplayed me, but and they, with the, with the value hands, they plan ahead to get like all in, in like a kind of a linear way, right? Or to have like a pot size left and not 130%. Um, so I've actually rolled a four bet down here.
call, oh, this is interesting. It's like no real value, no real bluff. Um, wow, I just got a crazy call in my face. Okay, but I'm battling range here as well. <sighs> Misclick, I wanted to put the 25 cents in there to have the exact quarter pot. Um, okay, let's see. So last hand here, I open raise the hijack versus the big blind. I check it down and bet that four. And I do have like 10, eight. I do have all the, I have all kinds of Jack X that I'm not betting the turn because I expect quite some check raises. And, um, he ends up calling me with ace queen off, not even having a spade. Uh, that's, that's kind of brutal. Um, but okay, and okay, um, let's first play those queens and then we'll wrap it up when we get the next nuts. That's the plan. Oh, that's a beautiful flop. And against him when all kinds, like now it's, I really only think about my hand, right? I don't need to bet a, like a sizing that makes sense against someone who is not good. Uh, a small sizing makes sense because I want to attack all his peers, right, etc. But now there are so many hands that he is just calling because they have some kind of equity, queen 10, jack 10, king 10, etc. So I go big, big, and then see what the river brings. I get my value already. Boom, all right. Now we got the problem that the 10 gets there and I might need to check fold, but still we got the value from all the king jack type hand. Um, Got the last five bucks out of him, got the value early. Uh, and he had ace king, right? Would have been a disaster kind of to bet small on the flop and only get that one big bet in on the turn. Um, yeah, so I kind of like that. Let's try that again. I like those check raises when people are just overstabbing. They, they don't have any nuts right now, right? So I'm actually check raising bigger. Some eight, six, some like, Strongest hands are like some eight, six, well, six is three, so that's not too much. Um, there. Um, I've seen so many random steps there, but I, I don't see the fold equity that, that, I'm, that I'm getting here. Uh, so I do that with like nines, tens, etc., etc. So this year now, uh, now we improved, so I can keep barreling quite a lot, and uh, I'm doing that with a big sizing. Uh, polarizing a little. Uh, so maybe I'm a little over the top. That's definitely not GTO, but I think people are a little scared here. And um, and overfolding. So um, yeah. Now this is really nine ten nine seven. Okay, stuff like that. I'm not bluffing my my diamonds. Um, and I definitely have lots of fives, so uh, good luck us. Kind of big bluff, kind of out of line, kind of okay. You know, so it's it's all fine, it's all fine. Even if he calls, if he has a five, even better. If he bluff catches me, it's okay. But he definitely should fold his king eight now. And he, we have so many snap snap folds. The nine seven himself, I'm blocking that, okay. The uh, All the diamonds with a pair, kind of snap folds. Maybe we face a really heroic call here. Call ace eight. Well, this is insane. Okay. So we lost a little more in the end. I'll just update once more. So that was today's session. Bet, bet, bet. I three bet here. Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. Bad screen. Why did I, when did I change it? Oh yeah, that hurts because I know how much it sucks listening to me now for three minutes, seeing the wrong screen. Ah oh, yeah. Bad screen, bad screen. So it's five minutes, you bad window. All right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was talking, so you maybe got still something. 
let's start let's continue with that hand then <laughs> i see bet here we can see bet bigger here as well especially against someone we have never seen before i don't care about balance we have kings we don't want to see an ace we don't want to see a nine or a jack so if i bet big here now on that card i can actually just over bet jam or something <laughs> uh, i just bet big again and on this card every nine makes a straight i'm just going for the block bet um yeah that is maybe not really balanced i will block bet fold the shit out of it here but 16 11 never seen before 100 tens is just not bluffing that spot so um yeah happy to take those extra 50 bucks and i think it's quite important to take those yeah we had that funny hand we talked about already against measure dog just maybe one more time see what's small here big is fine turn with all options i guess check is not the one that Pio would choose um for for some reasons but um yeah won't be too bad block bet i have a mandatory race he goes over the top and this is what i think is questionable or i would tell you against a range that is probably value heavy right if someone does that to you people are probably value heavy then making a bluff that needs to work 66 percent this is the spot where you can do stuff where actually you have 20% fold equity, but you need 66 and you're really burning money. Um, not saying that Measure Doc did anything wrong. Obviously you need bluffs and he can expect me to play well there too. But meeting someone in a low stakes, never ever do that. Right? This is a big money burner there. Um, all right, um, so we had a good session. All right, that's it. Um, I think 95% sure I'm back tomorrow. So uh, yesterday and today we had the same amount of viewers. We need to spin that up a little. Maybe we, we can reach the 1K tomorrow. It's I mean, a Sunday is way better, right? Than a Saturday. So um, yeah, skip the Doppelpass and, uh, and, and watch me playing somewhere soon, crushing it, taking another two or 3K, that would be great. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.